you get out to, the pit, man. You get out in the pits, you get your information, you're back in the booth, and you're studying, you're bang, bang, you're reading, you're trying to figure out who's who and what's what and where they're from. You're trying to build that knowledge so when you get on the mic, you're not sound like, you know, like a stumbling well, idiot. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, literally, if it wasn't for my wife to be up in, in what she does, uh, the 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 crazy part about it is that she actually got uh, for opening ceremonies. Uh, Kenny Miller wasn't driving this weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, who usually drives a Budweiser IMC modified uh, was the pilot of our two seater. Uh, gave her a ride the I very first that. time uh, in the two seater. She absolutely loved it. But she was she finally came up into the Moxie Tower mm-hmm. about two races into it. But you talk about trying. Man, I don't know how she does her organizing because she's really, really good. With an adrenaline rush like that, shaking, and you know, <sighs> I can just imagine. But, but. Yeah, it was it was nuts. Yeah, our heat, first heat race, um, and you'll know a lot of these names in here. Our first heat race went to Josh Corley. He picked up the win. There you go. Um, Anthony Brinster, second. James Walker, Bruce McMaster, Sam Tyler, Cody Schoolier, Eddie Cavella. Those were the that's how they finished in the heat race. Uh, first heat race of the night. Heat race number two, we had. Um, a car that we you know, we didn't even get their name registered because they showed up late. But um, what car number? Fifteen V. Out of Grove area? Mm, I don't know. Won it. Showed up late and won whoa, it. Whoa! Fifteen <laughs> yeah. V. Black and orange. Good little car. Won it. Sam Potter was second. Devin uh-huh. Traslavinia, third. Jeremiah Reber, Josh Weeby, Barry Lampert, and Matthew Morton. That's a good heat race. Yeah, it is, especially yeah. when somebody when a ghost is driving the fifteen V yeah. car. So um, if anybody out there was, knows uh, the 15V, I believe it was. Uh, I want to say, I want to say Justin McCready. That's I believe. Who you think it was? I'm pretty sure that was his name. All right. And I'll I'll do a little more research here, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Um, Heat race three. Listen to the names in this one. So we had uh, the 65, Brad Moffat. I yeah. Okay. There now you listen. Go. <laughs> he there shows you up at Eugene. All right. Shows up at Eugene. He's in a golf, VW Golf, with the Harlequin <laughs> the Harlequin paint scheme. Remember these cars? Yeah. They came out of the factory, and they hit the lot, and then the hood's blue, and the door's red, and the fender's yellow, and the top's, <laughs> the top's green, and the re- left rear yeah. fender's purple. I'm not kidding you. It's called a Harlequin paint scheme. Now, listen. Here, I that's, learned, that's not this like is, Matt Jenner when he came out for the modified race because he had one side blue and one side red. Well, here's the thing I did. <laughs> I, I learned something about this, and I, I was really surprised. Those guys, and they're big Volkswagen guys. You know those those guys down there that that you know they're sponsored by that uh, Edge Motorsports and um, <laughs> there was only two hundred of those cars produced. Wait, wait, that's that's factory. Factory. That is a factory paint job on that car. No. Only two hundred of them ever produced, and Moffat puts on the <laughs> where did he puts it on the racetrack? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. And he won the heat. Who cares about historic? He won. <laughs> yeah, we don't care. We don't care, but uh, he won the heat. Uh, it was good heat. He had Greg Davidson in there, the 36. He had the 45 of Maverick, uh, the 15 <laughs> of Robert Vandry, Danny O'Neill, Michaela Campbell, and Shannon Horn. Shannon Horn's a regular in the street stock at Willamette. Yes, she um, is. Um, I mean, awesome. Very, very fast. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's he's he, well. He won a feature earlier this year. Right. And Michaela Campbell, you know, she's she's getting better and better every week. Um. She's getting fast, so, you know, she's running with the Kronk stables. You know, those right. guys are bad company right there. But, yeah, Heat Race uh, 3 was good. I mean, Brad Brad Moffin brought that little Harlequin <laughs> car out <laughs> and won it, but <laughs> won it by almost a full second. Um, interesting to watch, you know, the, the mix of cars from Cavaliers to, you know, the VW Golf to – you know the the escorts and and I mean just I want to bring a Pinto station. I wagon. mean we had a Pinto Barry Lampert, but, right? But not a station, uh, not a station. But, wagon. but it was the hatchback though, wasn't it? That smaller hatchback. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That thing's so cool. Again, <laughs> it's rugged. <laughs> Lampert's a rugged dude, man. But uh, Hornet Heat Race number four. Okay, now I uh, asked for everybody's information. A couple guys were late. I didn't get all the information. So the 38 car, normally driven by Chris Battaglia, Gumby, mm-hmm. wasn't. He was obviously out yeah, running sprint a, cars. Yeah, he was running sprint cars. Um, Greg Long. Greg Long, Long yeah, because yeah, he posted. I yeah, uh, mm-hmm. I saw that he po- actually posted on his Facebook page that uh, Greg was going to run it. Yeah, he won heat race number four. Really? By uh, over one and a half seconds. <laughs> Whoa. That little 38, I'll tell you what, that's a fast it's, race car. It's fast up there at Sunset. It's, it's fast. Okay, yeah. now listen to this. He beat Captain Turnabout, Gary Jones, Jeremy Beard, 
Corey Hazen brought a car from Bend. Did he really? The 10JR. Yeah. Billy Crank. McLean Bodoin, the 10-year-old, finished sixth. And Zach Tol- Tolkstad was the seventh. He's in the uh, Amco Transmissions car. He's based right. out of Corvallis. Those were the uh, – they finished first through seventh in heat four. Okay. Heat race five. Hold on. So Captain Turnabout was second? Yeah. Behind Batalge's car with, with Long driving it? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yep. That's a good run uh, for them. Now, heat race five. I mean, there was, there was some good cars in this one. Tracy Muse won it over the Trophy Dash winner, Marcel uh, Marcel Forte. Mm-hmm. Troy Owen, third. Okay. Gartner, fast qualifier, fourth. Dale Holland, Joe Maracle, Rode Lavorne, and Casey Scott. That's a fast field of Hornets <laughs> right there. Holy crap. I mean, that, that's, that, that's a feature. You yeah, know, exactly. The top half of a feature at most places. Exactly. And, that and was, they're all running in a heat race. Yeah, that was the fast heat. Um <laughs> Half second of difference, you know, Muse got by uh, uh, Forte and, and, and pulled off the win. But uh, remember those names coming out of the feature, okay? Okay. Because we had a B-Main number one. B-Main number one. <laughs> That's just – that to me is, is oh, insane man. when you have two B-Mains and then an A-Main. Right. An How A-Main. Many? We started 20 cars in the feature. Oh, I can believe it. So we had – Starting and 22 midgets at our oh, time. Oh, jeez. That's chaos. <laughs> so, B-Main number one, um, we had Sam Tyler, Bruce McMaster, Barry Lampert, James Walker, Eddie Cavella, Josh Weeby, Cody Schooler, Anthony Brenster, Matthew Morton, Jeremiah Reaver, Reaver Devin Traslavinia, and Sam Potter. Now, remember we talked about Sam Potter, who's normally right. in the wheel of a modified. Right. Didn't go to the Nationals down at Grove. Decided to come take a shot at the 500 bucks. One B main number one. No. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> by, Good by deal. Just man. right at a half second. He beat uh, rookie driver Devin Traslavinia, Jeremiah Reber, and Matthew Morton were the four transfer cars out of B, number, B main number one. So four transferred <clears throat> out of the Bs. Out of the Bs. Four each out of the Bs. Yep. Nice. Now, that race, <laughs> the B mains, okay, were uh, scheduled for 15 laps. 15 lap B mains. That's that's a long time around Dude, it sunset. Was just, it was, I mean, around Willamette. It is. I mean, when you're running, you know, 19, <laughs> 20 second laps. That's, but these cars, it, I mean, I'm telling you as, a, as an announcer, I don't know what I think about this field of cars when you get this many on the track at the same time. <laughs> You you it, might get one or two guys that separate, and the rest of the field is uh, right there, and you're trying to figure out who's who and who's it, where. It changes every 50 feet. It, it's yeah, I'm not, I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. I'll be, I'll be honest it with you. Changes I mean, it's, it's, every 50. Try it, to do it at, at sunset. Remember the old I Rock series when you have you know the leader would get out and maybe a lead by a car length or two, and uh-huh. he fade back to six, and the guy in six went to second, and second went to first. Uh-huh. And it was just like it was constant. I mean, these cars were constantly changing <laughs> position. You're trying to call this race, and it's like. <laughs> Man, uh. I mean, it's just this pack of cars. It just, oh my! God. It's 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 like a bunch of that is yeah. challenging. It is. It, it is and, very and, challenging. And they're the slowest cars. At the, I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I know I'm you saying, don't. I know. No, and let me justify what I'm saying here. Let me, let me qualify this. I mean, they're the slowest field of cars at the track. Right. That being said, they're the hardest ones to call because they all stay together. <laughs> the cool, the cool part about it too is, I I agree a thousand percent with you. Is because you at least you have a bigger track where they. I mean, because they're carrying more and more speed. But you talk about like at sunset. It doesn't too. matter carrying more speed. They still stay together. <laughs> Nobody gets apart. That is so awesome. It's just like. <laughs> I mean, you get so frustrated trying to call this, and it, it, it's I'm like just you. somebody break out. Let's go single file. Yeah, that's. I, I don't. I don't think. I think in. I think if you have to be a four B driver, you sign a contract that states no single file racing. Well, the, you're either three, not. four, five, six wide. It, it's and it's just, absolute craziness to watch <laughs> these cars. I, I, I like the racing. Oh yeah. yeah, it's good racing, but it's like you got to be pretty frustrated as a driver at sometimes in these cars because. What happens if you're the middle car and you're four wide <laughs> for four laps and you're you know two wide, three wide in front of you? Front wheel you drive can't, car. You can't go anywhere. <laughs> you know nobody spins out hardly ever unless they get bumped. And right. It's like man, I mean just total chaos. But That's the awesome. top four cars were Potter, Traslavinia, Reber, and Morton. They transferred up to the feature. <laughs> B main number two. This I, I, I now remember what's going on here because we, we, we've talked about, you know, so a lot of these drivers throughout the season. Right. This was B main number two. Maverick mm. was in B main. Cody Jones. Yeah. Was that a B main? Yeah. He really? won B main number two. 
Now, he, see, him him and Captain Turnabout, that's his dad. That's father-son racing team. Couple very, salty very, old pirates. <laughs> it, it just, I didn't realize that, too, until this year. I didn't realize that Maverick Cody Jones was actually Captain Turnabout's son. And I'm like, well, he's talking about, yeah, my dad. And I'm like, dude, I have no idea who the hell your dad is, man. And he goes, well, Captain. I'm like, <laughs> hmm, yeah, no clue. And he goes, Captain Turnabout. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. now, now it makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. all right. So now Maverick wins. He brings with him, I'll tell you, the first four transfer cars, okay, were Maverick, Jeremy Beard, Cap and Turnabout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. They both came out of B- B2 into the feature, and they, Corey Hazen. Okay. Wow, out of Ben. Corey Hazen brought a little, R. yeah, a little, uh, a little Honda car that uh, was, I think. Wait, just, was it was it white with orange numbers? It absolutely was not. It was what? flat black with silver duct tape numbers. All right. Yeah, that's, car, I think that's they put the car co- together this week. That is not a Hazen car. I'm, I'm pretty sure they put that car together this week to take a shot at the 500, <laughs> and the kid made it into the feature with, like, I mean, not kidding you, a, a lap to go. He got into the into the final transfer, and he got by Greg Davidson, who was fast all day long. Now, wow. here's the guys that didn't make the show, okay? We're talking about some good drivers here, some quality drivers. We're right. talking about here's the guys that didn't make it into the feature for the 500 bucks. Greg Davidson. Zach Tol's, uh, Tol's dad, rookie driver. Billy Crank didn't make it. Danny O'Neill. Danny, wow. In yep. the in the pickup truck in he the '69. Did. That's right. That's uh, that's Austin Henderson's truck. Well, that truck had some issues. Oh, that was. Uh, what and happened I'm, now? Again, I'm not I'm not here to dog anybody, but you know, and we know that Danny O'Neill is a good driver. Mm-hmm. We've seen him in the mods and everything else, and, and he's, mm-hmm. he holds a good wheel. He's smooth, but I think that is one of the very few cars I've ever seen that would spin out on railroad tracks. I mean that car, really? that truck was just upset. It couldn't. I mean, just spin after well, spin. See, and you remember we had uh, Austin had his um, had an issue here a couple weeks ago, uh, or about a month ago. You know, wrecked it over there in turn one. Eric Dieter's frame shop. You know, straightened it out. Uh, it was you had, loose, loose, loose. It, you know, it's always loose and stuff at sunset too. I don't know what they have to do to it. To try to tighten that truck up. Well, I think up, one of the things they can do is lower the height of that. That truck sits awful it, high. It, well, it's almost like stock height. Yeah, it yeah. sits awful high. Uh, so, Anil missed it. Robert Vandry, Michaela Campbell, McLean Bodoin, and Shannon Horn were the drivers that didn't make it into the feature. Now, B. Mains didn't pay anything, did they? We're going to go into the feature. <laughs> so, <laughs> Wait, wait. Hold on. Did I just... <laughs> We're, we're, Did we're, I just stump the king? No. You, no. We're not even... No. I'm not even going to get into that. <laughs> we're, we're, you're stirring up a hornet's nest. You Uh-oh. Like, you see that? You like that plan where Uh-oh. It's stirring up a hornet's nest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're down, huh? Hornet, uh, yeah. piss so, off bees. <laughs> so check this out. Guys, I don't I don't know what's going on 20 here. cars. <laughs> 20 cars started the feature, okay? Um, We had the top 11 finish on the lead lap. Top 11? Yep. How eight. many laps? Tw- uh, we went 25 laps. Twenty-five laps, five hundred dollars. Top eleven finished twice. Really? Mm-hmm. The top eleven finished. Uh, the winner checked out, and I'd say second through eleventh were all. I mean, just right there. <laughs> all, all in It's that whole deal where like you're going. Who crossed the line ahead? Of, you don't know. <laughs> you know, it's like you just got to look up at the scoreboard and say, okay. That's what it is, you know, and that's that's you just take the transponders. Yeah, coming work. in that place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait till the transponders read, because yeah. my screen just says this. Oh, yeah. geez, it was. I've nuts. been there a couple times. <laughs> but let's uh, let's kind of talk about um, this fa- this race because you know, again, we had we had cars from three different classes, you know, three three four different tracks that run different sets of rules, right. and and I got to give the Willamette Speedway officials and and. You know, I don't know who made the call, whether it was, was Chris and Jeremy working together on how to get the rules as even as possible. Right. But they did a really good job. Okay, so you didn't have one guy who was a little more modified than the other just absolutely take off to a point where um, he, he ran away. Right. Now, the winner did win by a little over two seconds. but oh. that, But that's almost a full straightaway there at, some, at mm, uh, Willamette. Yeah, but it was still, I mean... He had to come through the field to do it, you know. He, really? Yeah, he had to earn his way up there, and he got up there and did a good job. But, I mean, the names in this in this miracle, Justin McCready, Maverick, Reber, Potter, Morton, Hazen, Scott, uh, Moffitt, Traz Lavinia, Beard, LaVorne, Jones, Forte, Greg Long, Dale Holland, Muse, Gartner, Corley, and Owen. And we're talking about Owen, then 23, who almost got his car stolen, wins the feature. 
won it by 2.17 seconds. But you know what? Watching him 